Is it, your lyrics really shouldn't be that shocking to a lot of people. That, yeah. right? It seems like it shouldn't be a real big deal, but I think a lot of people are shocked. And do you do that on purpose? Is there a shock factor? I like, I like to shock people. I mean, I've always... It creates a reaction. That's Whether right. it's positive I've, or, yeah. or negative reaction, it still creates a, a reaction. I like for people to be able to react to something I say or, I don't know, call me exhibitionist. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. Naturally. <laughs> Getting back then to the, uh, the exhibitionist thing, for example, you yeah. have this image, you, you wear lingerie for your shows, yes. uh, yet the lyrics are real sexually explicit, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's all an image, or is it? Do you live that way personally? That's, um, we like it. Yeah, we definitely we like love it. it. I love lingerie. I've always loved it since I was a kid. I, I was uh, always stealing it out of my mother's closets and trying to wear it to school and getting in trouble for it. And, that whole, but it's an extension of our personalities, of course. Um, we, we didn't, we didn't put it together it. as a gimmick to make money. It, it's that's part of the way that we really are. Now I'm not that's just it. talking about the lingerie. I'm just talking about the whole sexual thing. Uh, you know, just the explicit stuff on the album. Mm -hmm. uh, is that something just played up a lot to sell records? No, or? definitely something not. that we're talking about at this particular time. We and didn't, uh, I mean, of course it sells. It Sex sells a yeah. lot of things. You know, you can't turn the TV on today and, and, and not see something that they're using sex appeal to sell. Um, we didn't do it just, as I said, a gimmick or to just to make the money, just to sell, because it definitely will sell. You mm -hmm. don't, it's not like it's a new thing. Um, we are really definitely into uh, some of the things we're saying at this That's time. We, we could be That's talking about feel. something else next time around. Next album could be about this particular filming. Could be about anything. They ask us why we sell <laughs> sex. <laughs> no, um, no, it's it's really it, it's my personality to to write that way. I that's the kind of thing that I love to write about. Um, at this point in my life, this is the kind of thing I'm experiencing. Um, what I say in Nasty Girls, which is definitely a hit. Um, do you think I'm a nasty girl? I'm living in a fantasy. It's all part of a fantasy also. So, you know. Why don't you just talk a little bit more about some of your other hit songs and lyrics on If there. a girl answers, don't hang up. Just talk about it. That's just talk about it. Just talk about it. Right. <laughs> just tell me how you got the idea for the song and um, personal experience. That's a true yeah. story that, yeah. um, that happened to Vanity when she was previous to Vanity 6. And she was telling me, we just happened to be sitting around one night after we'd gotten together and uh, she was telling me about this story. She'd called up a guy who had apparently been in touch with her earlier in the day. She tried to get back to him and there was a girl on the other end who didn't particularly care for the fact that she was calling. And so they had a few words and she was telling me the story about it. And we sat around guffawing and saying, ah, well, we do this about it. And, you know, this is, yeah. why don't we write a song? So we did. Yeah. And but we so it really with. started just as a funny experience that happened to me that um, I wasn't too pleased about. And <laughs> I haven't seen the video yet. Uh, what song does that deal with? That's He's So Dull, and that was our very first single. And um, that's a great, great song. It's He's So Dull. It deals with him being so dull. He's driving a 63 Rambler. And he won't get anywhere with us. <laughs> and it's a great video. It's it's really pretty. It's not the type of video that it's not like a small movie. It just shows us, you know, simply and dancing and you know choreographing the song. And um, at the end of the the video, what happens is I there's this doll guy, right? She's tough, and <laughs> and um, I take off his hat and throw away his glasses and um, whatever, and there goes the throw him scene. down the stairs. And, yeah, so, and everybody thought that, you know, did you really throw him down the stairs? <laughs> she threw him. Yeah, I did throw him down the stairs. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, so all those people that want to know, did I throw him down the stairs? Yes, I threw him down the stairs. <laughs> so your next album might deal with sex, politics. Anything. Could deal with anything that we're experiencing between now and then. Well, just give you an idea of how the three of you feel on things like uh, drugs and, and politics. Drugs, I feel very much against drugs. I mean, I... I can't tell, you know, people, other people, what to do and with their lives. I think, um, as far as drugs and alcohol, and it certainly doesn't get me far. I, I can't, you know, work by it. It, it doesn't help me, and um, but I'm not about to. You know. <laughs> hey, you guys, you know, don't you dare. Um, it doesn't work for me. It never works. 
and um, I wouldn't certainly wouldn't be able to continue a career with it because I have to be on, as they say, on the ball. It doesn't it doesn't influence you very right. well. It uh, it just creates illusions for right. you. It's 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 not something that should be. Um, you should tr really try and stay away from it, actually, because it doesn't. Um, it's, it only it's hurts you in the end. Yeah, right? it only it's only going to. <laughs> You know, there's just too many people nowadays. So you hear on the news all the time about people who are, you know, even business executives, government executives, you know, just, uh, it's, it's not messed up by it. Yeah. yeah. Out there, might be a song in the future? Yeah, there could be. Um, we're not strongly into politics, because um, we're just kids. There's you know? politics <laughs> in everything. <laughs> but there's, there's, yeah. there's politics in the music business, there's politics in, Everywhere. even if you're just a waitress in the local restaurant, there's some kind of politics that you have to, that you're, that you're inevitably drawn into, regardless of whether you want to be a, a part of politics or not. Um, so there's just anything, just, there could be anything that we could write about next time around that would have some kind of influential uh, politics in the background somewhere yeah. in there. Um, there's not any particular like category where we'd say like the moral majority or anything like There's not anything that we lo allow to let us ourselves become afraid of um, that would influence how we would write something. In other words, we knew that we may have gotten some, we may get some flack out of some of the particular subject matter off of this album, but it, we didn't allow it to um, influence us yeah. so that we didn't write what we you know, wanted to write. There's going to be people out there who's not going to go for it, but there are going to be also people out there who's going to go for it. You can't have one without the other, so there's going to be. Okay. You know. um, let's get back to your performance. I've never seen your show. Uh, your bio says that you know you live your fantasies and dreams on stage. Just describe a little bit about how you do that. Well, just um, wearing lingerie is one of our fan was a fantasy of mine. I wanted to wear lingerie on stage for a long time. You know, and I finally got the opportunity, and, and that's like that was a surprise, <laughs> you know. Um, okay, I just want to ask three of you individually to describe the feeling you get when you're on stage performing. You know, emotionally, <coughs> how do you feel? What's going through your mind? How I does feel, it make you feel? Yeah, I feel it, it's possibly the greatest, I guess, high that you know a person could possibly have. Um, it just I get more energy up on stage than. Anywhere, I mean, it, I'm able to do whatever I want to, and and make a crowd feel good, you know. And, and to see a smile on somebody's face is nice after you've performed, you know. Okay, to see people you. clapping. I mean, um, wearing it is real comfortable for one thing, you know. And you dance around so much, and the lights get so hot. That's the best thing to wear something and feel cool, you know. I mean. But like, how do you feel performing overall when you're up there and the crowds you're acting to? Oh, I love it. I think nothing nasty about it, you know, so it's mainly just like another piece of clothing everybody else is wearing. And it's wonderful. It's just but, my... No, not drop the lingerie. Just how you feel when, when uh, you're having a real good show and the audience is reacting real good. How does that make you feel? What's going through your mind? Oh, it makes me feel great. I mean, making people respond, you know, it's wow. <laughs> just something like that. Okay, and Brittany, you're talking a little bit more about how you live out fantasies and dreams on stage. It's a, um, well, it's a, it was a statement my, my parents had made to me quite some time ago, was that as the stage is one of the only places in the world where you can really be anything and do anything that you really want to do and still sort of get away with it. Um, I feel fantastic when I'm out on the stage and the crowd's having a good time and I'm having a good time. There's not anything else in the world that can compare to it. Um, I just get this overall sense of contentment and um, satisfaction that I have also made other people happy. Um, I couldn't really call it an ego thing. Um, I think only because for myself personally that as long as I see the people enjoying it, that they're enjoying what I'm doing and what I'm offering them in the form of entertainment, that it, it makes me feel good that I could make somebody else have a good time also. Okay. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Susan, why don't you just tell me, what do your parents or family think about you being out on the road at such a young age? Uh, well, when I first started this, you know, it was like, well, if it's something you really want to do, it's fine, you know, because they let me do what I want and whatever makes me happy. And they think nothing bad about it. It's like, go ahead, you know, and I'm free to do what I want to do. And I, it's really good. It's a good feeling, you know, you can yeah. go out there and do it. The parents understand their ambition, 
which is, you know, the yeah. same with all our parents. So when you sit down to write lyrics, do you get a lot of ideas from friends or just, you know? Just living, you know, just life in general, just my own life, you know, I write a lot about it and the things I feel. Yeah, you know, the average middle class person that sees this is going to say, she's only 16, how did she... <laughs> You know, have those kinds of ideas for songs. I mean, it's you'd be surprised. Well, you can't. It's how can anybody really say that? I mean, anybody. I'm sure most people. There couldn't be a person. I'm sure you have at the age of 13, 14, started going. Hmm, what is this? You know, <laughs> I, and you want to, and you want to be able to feel free enough to go to your parents and ask them. You know, what what sex is all about because you're starting to learn what goes on between a, a, a man and a woman, or a male and a female, just the interactions. And you start asking questions, you start getting phys physiological urges, you don't know, you don't understand, you don't know why, and you want to find out. And, and society, unfortunately, has, has a lot of the times um, forced you into a position where, no, you're not supposed to know anything about this. Um, you're supposed to wait until you get older, at a certain other age bracket, and so on and so forth. And then when you get to that age bracket, you're supposed to know everything and not have learned anything. But you still question uh, your friends at school you talk to because they're feeling the same way. And you get very frustrated because you want to find out what, what's going on. You want to find out why. It's a very natural thing, really. And um... Mommy, why did Joey kiss me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs>